Every daddy fig tree wood in it. Fig yeah. tree. Fig tree. Fig tree. Fig tree. Fig tree. <laughs> Back. We got another video for you guys. You guys know this is one of my favorite. Got my boys right here to my left, and we about to rate that bait. So it's fall time. Leaves changing colors, temperatures dropping. Yep. This is what we rolling with. This Just keep this, on rolling. With. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Hey, this is what we rolling with. Square bills. Square bills. I don't even throw them. Square lips. <laughs> Square lips. I don't even throw them. <laughs> My man running down the river. Hey, wide right, open. Hey. No life jacket on. Uh huh. <laughs> best life. He lived his best life. And we're right. right here on the shores. We on the shores of the Alabama River with my boys. Rake that bait. We are doing square bills. I got five square bills. I, I realize we can't cover them all. No, you can't. So we pick five. We got a little bit of old school flair with some new school twists yes. and some tried true baits. So I'm a kick it to my boy DC. I'm gonna let you pick. We got five of them right here, DC. All right, I'm picking the first one. Gra gra grab us one. All right, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab number one. Okay. I like it. RC 1.5. Lucky crap. Lucky RC, crap. Lucky crap. Yes, sir. Yeah. Rick Klon, he's still, I don't even care. Is that what, how they, <laughs> is that what it was? Rick yeah, Klon? Rick Klon, RC. Rick Klon, yes, RC. sir. Signature right, bait. Anyway, Lucky crap 1.5. For me, I'm gonna say, I throw, I have thrown him a pretty decent amount. Really, really good bait. Really good colors on these. I like these. Yeah. This right here is a, is kind of a staple for me. He's got a little rattle in him. You can get the rattless one. Yep. Rattleless. The no. The, the rattles. The silent jump. The yeah. silent. The moment said rattleless. Rattleless. The rattleless. No, this guy right here is really good. Um, I've thrown him a lot. He uh, he comes over wood, really, really well. I think uh, a lot of square bills are, have been modeled after this guy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right there is, uh, I mean, it's really similar moving down the list to the Strike King 1.5. Yes, sir. KVD 1.5, which yes, my sir. man's done won a lot of money on him. So no doubt. They're, they're really, really similar. The, the Strike King looks like he's a little bit fatter, as you would say. But what I like about these is... You can put pretty good size hooks on them, which you can on a lot of square bills, but these in particular run really, really good. So I'm gonna rate him a out of 10. Man, I gotta throw it to him. Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Gotta throw it to him. Yeah, throw yeah. it to Let's him. See him Sizzle. Let's pass him over pass to J-Dub. All right. Eight so out of 10, that's, that's, that's pretty high. That's pretty that's high. Good. That's, that's good. Well, that's, that, that, that's the guy. That's the juice. Yeah, I mean, I think this. I think DC hit it on, on the nail on the head. This is the thing. This is like the bait that started Yes. The square bill revelation, revolution of like everybody throwing square bills. You know, obviously, and I'm gonna be honest with you, the old school RCs, fire. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah, newer yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. So the old school ones, yeah. Newer ones, I'm gonna say a lot. You know, two points lower for whatever I say. Three points, <laughs> probably. But the thing about it is, it has a lot of weight to it. Yeah. Cast well. Yep. Yes. Um, you know, they, they see a lot of these though. Thing. They do see a lot of these in the pressure fisheries we fish, but it is an unbelievable crankbait in wood, rock, gravel, whatever it is. I am going to put this at an 8.5 because Mr. Rick Klun started. I feel like, I mean, there's Bagley's, there's old school, you right. know, right. you know, old school plugs for like wood plugs, but right. as far as this style of bait, I feel like Rick did an unbelievable job. I gotta get my props out. No, 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 for got? sure. And real quick, I want to add too piggybacking off what you just said we are only doing class hard plastic uh injected molded baits we're not talking to old school you brought up the baggins which is a great yeah a great bait a lot of money school, been like wec crank exactly bait. so yeah, we're not we're not bamboo wood. As, <laughs> 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 they are so we're them, talking huh? straight up injected molded plastic baits all right my turn rc 1.5 i mean these guys basically said it all man but Rick Klund, legendary crankbait fisherman, man. You just got to take your hat off. Nothing else you can say. Uh, and he designed a great bait. He hooked up with a great company, and they and they made magic. What really stands out and strikes me the most with the RC 1.5 is the color selection. Mm -hmm. It don't matter where you fish at, coast to coast, they got something specific to that bait fish that's living wherever you're at. And that's one thing that I really, really love. Um, and then it's a, it's a. It's, I call these four-wheel drive crankbaits. I love a square wheel because a lot of people will flip and pitch laydowns and things like that. Man, I'm gonna roll in there and throw that square wheel, just a different look, you know? So uh, RC 1.5, man, I'm gonna have to piggyback on DC. It's tough, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna give it like an eight. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like 8.5. Yeah, I'm going to say 8. You got to give it to him. All right. I'm going to say got, Just because it's the OG, Rick Klon. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. His name attached to it, like, for me, like, that's instantly a winner. Yes. Yeah. No yeah, doubt. Yes. All right, RC. We moving along. All right, I'm going to move along. I'm going to the OG right here. Ooh. I'm going to pick the OG. Ooh. No, no, no. Y'all don't, y'all don't bust me down on this. Is this a bomber? No. no. It's, a, it's a Lure, Lure Jensen. Jensen. This is Lure Jensen. That's a Lure Jensen. <laughs> Lure Jensen. <laughs> I do know what a Lure Jensen is, but I'm sitting there looking at him I'm like, is this a bomber? <laughs> Alright, so I don't really know much about this bait. I know he's an OG. He's got really loud rattles. Yes, sir. I like him. Um, I've never throwed him. I mean, just for him being old and he's still part of the conversation, 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. You got a real, that's a legit square bill right there. He actually comes up like that. And out. Yeah. So uh, six out of ten for me, Lure Jensen. Lure Jensen. It's called okay. speed, speed Trap. Okay. Speed Trap. Lure okay. Jensen Speed Trap. Okay, this is like a Carolina's killer in out west coast too. Yes, sir. Um, this is like the one thing about this bait is it, it's unbelievable crankbait pre-spawn, but it's really a great crankbait in the fall as well. Um, you know, you could put you know decent size hooks on him. Yep. Right. He's the one thing negative about this bait is it does not weigh a lot. Yes. So you're able not, it's not really a target crankbait, it's more of a rock crankbait, gravel. So that's my biggest thing for him. And then the other thing about this is this is like one of the OG colors. It is. Crystal Craw Dad. Crystal Craw. Crystal Craw. Hey, Jade Up, no, everything. This sucker right here, absolutely Bass crushing. Bass. Under kind of sewer. He and is. Um, so I, 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 I do have plenty of these in my boat. I don't definitely own Definitely in the spring, springtime, <laughs> for sure. And I want to rate him uh, a 6.5. I'm gonna rate him 6.5 out of 10. Now this is the reason. He's a nine out of a 10 when the pre-spawn stained water, but day in and day out, I'm gonna give him 6.5. 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. That's solid. All right, guys. I, I I got a lot of nostalgia with this bait. Uh, when I was coming up in the game, this thing hit the California Delta. I don't know when it hit there, but when I was about 12, this was like the the hot bait. This color exactly, and another one called Delta Crawl. If you were fishing the California Delta and y'all drop a comment because I want to see my Delta rats out there in the early 90s through the early 2000s, you better had this bad boy tied on. What 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 I love about this square bill more than a lot of others, we talk about coming through cover. And when we're talking about that, we're generally talking hard cover, rocks, laydowns, right, right. bushes, things like that. This crankbait right here is excellent in grass. Coming through grass, ticking the tops of that grass, getting it buried down, super snatching buoyant. it out. Yeah. Super buoyant. And I've caught multiple 10 plus pounders Unreal. on this guy right here. Big. Yes, sir. I have. And so uh, I love this bait. It does have a tough time with castability on windy days. Yeah. It's a very light bait, but I still love him. I don't throw him a ton anymore, but I'm going to give him, I'm still going to give him a 7.9. Uh oh. 7.9. 7.9. Yeah. I got a lot of good history and love for this bait right here. I know, and that's the thing. For me, it's like that bait's such a, it's a 9 out of 10 in certain situations, Yeah. but it's very situational. It's not it your is. everyday It's not your everyday. Yeah, that's right. And as that's in, why as in the, the Lucky Craft is your yes. everyday Yeah, a Lucky bait. Craft crankbait is I more like, you're like, you know. You thought, DC thought he was a bomber. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't throw square that bait, y'all. That bait reminds me a lot of like a wiggle war. Like yes. situation. situational. Yeah, but absolutely. when it's the deal, it is the damn deal. You better deal. have you one. Yeah, you best so, have one. You gotta have them in your tackle box. Yes, sir. Keep, right, keep us move, lit, I'm DC. Gonna move, I'm gonna move right along. Right along. All right. Right along. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I'm gonna pick. Uh, it's hard for me to let's set him to the side. All right. All right. Okay. I, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Get him. Okay. Okay, here we go. Get him, Sizzle. KVD 1.5. Uh, this bait is honestly, I feel like he's kind of modeled after that. One hundred percent modeled after they are. It's a little bit <laughs> modeled. It is knocked it's, off. Okay, it's knocked off. Let, let's just one hundred percent. Close We're replica. Get yes, very close replica. And uh, <laughs> I will tell you this: this bait right here has won a ton of money. And I think after Kevin won, it, dang near two classics on oh, it. Oh yeah. And, yeah. uh, and I know for sure he won it on that one, but that, that right there, I feel like that's kind of came a staple too. So you got two staples right here, but this is kind of like this new age one, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But I mean, they it's honestly really, 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 really similar. Yeah, it is. To, yeah. to the Lucky Craft. So, very good. Bet. Like I said, that's eight, eight out of ten to me. I'm yeah. gonna keep them the same rate. Yeah, okay. So, for me, it's this thing. So, now I'm gonna give let me rewind seven out of ten. 
because Lucky Craft was the first yeah, one. Yeah, that, that, that's and you were right to it. So this is the thing. So I think you know, obviously, the one thing that I got to give Kevin and Striking, uh, you know, props for is giving anglers an opportunity to buy a crankbait. You know, Lucky Crafts and those 0.1.5s were 15, you know, 14.99. They were higher price points. This was a smaller, you know, a little bit lower price point, which gave a lot of anglers around the country to be able to have that opportunity to crank with a crankbait like Rick Clunge crankbait. Yes. This one's called KVD 1.5. Yes. But so so out of it, I feel like you know it's a really good bait. I have a few. I've not thrown. I used to throw them a lot um, back in the day when when you know I was pinching. I was trying. I had a couple of dollars in the pocket. I'm like, hey, look, <laughs> I can buy three of these. That's right. I can buy one of those. Yeah, right. you know, I, so really, you know, for me, I, I am going to give this bait a seven out of ten. I think it's a really good crankbait. Um, you know, for the price, and it, it does a good job. So Ain't no doubt, seven out of ten. Yeah, kind of, man. A lot of what these boys said, man. Um, I really appreciate once again Strike King jumping in the game at that price point, man. When this bait came out, I didn't have fifteen dollars go grab me no, no crankbait, bait, man. I mean, no. I was like you said, I'm trying to get two for one special. So the Strike King, it fit that niche to where everybody could fish the bait. Decent color selection, a lot of colors there, and at the end of the day, it's just a good bait. It works really good right off the pack. You don't have to tune it. You know, that's another big key with crankbaits. Yes, it is. Yeah. And you can put a good hook on this sucker, man. I, I, I like a KVD 1.5. I've made, I've made some money on these. Man, I, I, I'm going to give this bait 7.5. 7.5. I'm going yeah, to get this 7.5. I heard that. Yeah. All right. Good bait. Dingy. Dingy. All no. right, I'm going to move on next. Yes, sir. I got to get him. Get him, Sizzle. He's got to be part of the situation and the conversation. You know what I'm saying? My man, MDJ's what can I say? SB. 57. 57. It was a 57. I'm just messing with you. It's 57. I knew it was 57. SB 57. Uh, Bill Lewis. Hey, hey, my man Mark hooked me up with a bunch of these. I did. The, but you ain't thrown them. The good people at Bill Lewis, they sent me. Uh, yes, I have. Have you? Okay. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all uh, they sent me uh, a pretty good bit of these, and I started throwing them. And now this is really what I throw. Really? really? Yeah, if I throw one, I'll square bill throwing this because I got a bunch of them. Okay. Because I, I, I ain't got a bunch. Yeah, that's right. I got to throw him. Hey, look, and I've actually caught him on him. I caught some spotted bass on him. He's got a rattle in him. Yeah. And I, what I like about him, he's got a little weight to him. Yeah. I can cast him a long way. I ain't got to worry about it. I'm going to rate this. Let me, let me get I'm gonna it. I'm going to give D you the rate. Keep, gonna... keep it 100, DC. I'm going to rate him. Yeah. I'm going to rate him. I'm going to rate him. <laughs> Five. Plus two. Okay. <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> oh, baby, let's go. Seven out of ten Seven for real. Ten. Seven out of ten. Uh, I gotta give I gotta give him some props. This is uh I like the bill on him. I really yeah. do. He comes yeah. through wood really, really good. Yes, he does. If you notice he's kinda like the lure Jensen yes. type bill. Yes. Seven out of ten. Call that a coffin. Okay. Coffin so now, now, now I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta beat him two. up a little bit. DC, gotta, hey, hey, J Duff finna wear me out. Hey, hey, look, keep it real. I'm gonna give him. Oh, give listen, him that's two. why we do this. It, yes, sir. You yes, gotta sir. keep it one. So, so this is the thing. So I, I've thrown this bait several times. Obviously, Mark, Mark designed this bait, um, and it, it, it's uh, he's got a lot of really good colors. This is a black chartreuse. It's a staple for square reels all around the country. You gotta have a black chartreuse in your box. Yep. The one thing about this bait is it's a little bit smaller profile than like a, a 1.5, it's not as big. So when they're on smaller shad, it's definitely something that I look at. Hey, you know, in the fall time, it's a great fall bait in the shad patterns, chartreuse and black in this dirty water situation. The the circuit board lip is is, is clutch. I think that is a great uh, addition to this bait. It runs true, runs in that, what would you say, three to five, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah. know, if you can get them to five, but you need to go to about 10 pound line, I feel yep. like. Yep. So, but it's really three to four. It's gonna get down there pretty well. Um, so for that kind of deal, I think fall cranking uh, did a really good job as, as well with, with the hooks. The key is a lot of times you want to have as big a hook as you possibly can on the crankbait. So having or that you can get away with without them getting hung up, and that was a really they were they were set up really well. And then the other thing is you don't want that hook wrapping around and catching the lip, and it doesn't do that. So it does not do that. that design to me, the time, the effort, the thought into it, really well thought out. And I'm a big fan of a one knocking plug, so that's an additional plus one. Um, I'm gonna give him twelve out of ten. <laughs> 14 out of 10. 14, 14 out of 10. 10. No, I'm, not, I'm really, first, really, for, for, <laughs> for real, for a small square bill, I'm going to give him a an 8 out of 10 because Dang. I feel like I feel like this crankbait is, is a very it's well good. planned. I mean, hey, look, obviously Mark is my boy, but I, I, it's good. I'll tell you if it's up. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, coming from J-Dub, who fishes a lot of square bills. I do. That's, that's love. This, this thing's legit. DC don't right never cast these suckers. 
No, I don't throw I don't throw a square bell a lot, but uh, when I do. Hey, when I do. I'll throw on. one at 57. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. That's hey, a... I'm going to rate my own bait, and I'm not going to get too deep into it. I'm going to actually point out a few things that I feel like we could have done better. Okay. Um, okay. And, and some things that uh, are, are negatives, honestly. And I'm just going to keep it real. This is my bait. I love this bait. It comes through cover exceptionally well. Rock and wood. One of the biggest knocks I have on this bait is, and I'm working on this, we need to adjust the line tie just a little bit. This bait does not like grass. So for all my grass fishermen out there, you probably ran into this if you've thrown this bait. He does not like grass. So that's one of the knocks on this bait. Other than that, the size is a little bit smaller. And so I might've wanted to make it just a hair bit bigger, but it, it has that one knock sound to it. Uh, it has a weight transfer in it. So it casts a mile, you cast this thing great. A coffin shaped bill that's made out of circuit board. Very durable, excellent action. A lot of great qualities, you know, but that line tie does need to be adjusted a little bit for all my grass fishermen out there. So I'm gonna give my own bait a 7.5. Again, and that's me keeping it real with you guys. You heard it first. I, I would like to tell you 10 out of 10, but it's not a perfect square bill. So, you know, you live and you learn, you make things better, and I'm working on that. There ain't no doubt. So, let's keep it rolling. We got a 7.5 on the SP57. Straight out of the man's mouth. That's, that's coming from me. All right, last but not least. It's called a BX Brat. Okay. BX Brat. BX Brat. Brat. Hey, I'm, I'm impressed by you right now, Dustin. All right, so check. Hey, well, it's got it. a name on the bottom of it. <laughs> I picked it up. So. No, I'm just kidding. I already knew that. So these little brats, I'm gonna give y'all some uh, quick knowledge. I've never thrown him either. I never threw yeah. him. I've never had. I had not. But you know what I like about him? He's very small. It's hard to find a very small crankbait like this. Yep. And he's got a little bit of weight to him, so you can throw him. You see the, all these other little crankbaits, like a 1.0 or something. Right. You can't hardly throw him with 12 or 15 pound line. I, right. I want to throw a, a, a square bill. Me. Yeah. I'm throwing him in dingier water. I like throwing him on 15 if I can get away with it. 12 cool. works the best for me on a square bill, but if I can throw them on 15, I'm gonna do it. Oh, for sure. But uh, I like him, I've never thrown him before. You know, naturally with a smaller bait, you're gonna have a little bit smaller hooks on him. That's mm -hmm. just part of him. Mm -hmm. But for a finesse style, I guess you'd say uh, square bill, I gotta rate him, I can't give him a, a eight out of 10. I'm gonna say 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, 6.5. 6.5. Okay, so, so obviously I've had a lot of time to throw this bait. It, it, it's a really good square bill. Like, like DC said, the one thing about this bait is unique is it's actually balsa encased in plastic. There's balsa wood inside this bait oh, no. encased wow. in plastic. Huh. So that helps the buoyancy. It's actually not that point, believe it or not. They actually, the way they weighed it between the balsa and everything, it's actually almost spent. So huh. this is the, the deepest running small crankbait. It runs about six feet deep. No for kidding. a small little square bill, wow. a little bit deeper size. So that's one thing that's very unique about this bait. For a square bill, it runs probably the deepest out of all the ones. Maybe the speed trap runs pretty deep. I feel like the speed trap. Yeah, speed trap there. get down about seven. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like the speed trap's probably the deepest out of them. But this guy runs about six feet deep for that small profile, which is unbelievable in the fall. Really, uh, really good uh, in the fall, and then also really, really good in pressure situations in the springtime when you got a lot of guys cranking a lot of square bills, bigger crankbaits, right. that's when I like to downsize. Or when it's super cold outside when they're just nipping the bait, I feel like it's a good deal. I do upsize the hooks. They come with short shank number sixes, which I feel like are a tad bit small. It's tough. Yeah. So I do upsize the hooks to like number four short shanks or number five short shanks, BMC makes those. But uh, man, I, I, it's situational. Everyday square bill, I'm not gonna say this is a, a 10 out of 10, but for finesse cranking and you're getting your bait, this is the tough thing about them. It, 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 if you're saying all day, yeah, every day, I'm gonna give this bait a seven, a seven out of a 10 because it's not your everyday crankbait. But again, it's sort of like the speed trap. When it's the deal, it's the deal. Yeah. And oh, so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 in a situational time. 10 out of 10. 10 I out of 10 at a certain time. I knew I had a every day. fig tree wood in it. Fig yeah. tree. <laughs> fig tree. <laughs> 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 <The> fig tree. <laughs> Y'all have mixed in some cypress tree knobs in it. We got fruit hey, trees. Straight out to cypress tree. Hey, cherry, hey persimmon tree. Yeah, <laughs> man, look, we got a mixture of oak and oh. pine. <laughs> Whatever y'all got. Whatever you need. A pear tree. Run it. Yeah, pear yeah, tree wood works good. Boy. All right, let me jump in this thing. Much like DC, I've never thrown this, man. Now, I'm going to preface that. I got a homeboy on, on a Bassmaster Elite series. I ain't gonna drop his name because I can't be giving up his his nuggets, but he loves this bait. 
he preaches about this thing. But anyways, off the rip, looking at the color, that's the first thing that pops out to me because I've never thrown this bait. Very, very, very natural color scheme on this bait right here uh, that I really, really like. Like Jacob was saying, this time of year, especially in the fall, they're on that small bait. This thing fits the niche right off the rip because it's a, I mean, this is like a two and a half inch bait. That's the size of the shad a lot of these bass are feeding on right now. Um, the fact that it gets down to six foot, I didn't realize that to be that's so awesome. compact. Dude, that's legit. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, and then it's, and then, ah, ah, ah. Silence. That's a, that's a whole nother element, right? If that, you're gonna that, be finesse, you, you need to be, be silent. Finesse, yeah. Silent, that's something we hadn't talked about yet. All these baits are rattling baits. This is the first one that's silent. That's huge in a pressure situation. So I love that comes with some decent hooks on it but like Jacob said you need to upsize those hooks a little bit so uh, without throwing it just just unboxing it and just taking a peek man I, I, I like him he got a lot of good qualities to him but I don't know a lot about him so it's hard for me to give him a really good rating so I'm gonna jump out there and give him a 6.5 yeah and that's just knowing nothing about him looking at him now I can go throw this thing tomorrow it'll be 10 out of 10 we don't know so it looks good but anyways that wraps it up you guys for the rate debate on this on square bill episode i gotta thank my boys man you guys make sure y'all follow them on their channel dc Appreciate fishing you. wheeler fishing yes, i'll drop the links down below in the description y'all check my boys out we outside so thank y'all catch you on the next one good luck y'all go catch some